Colleen Rooney breaks silence on Wagatha case and slams Rebecca Vardy's evil texts. After months of silence, Colleen Rooney has finally spoke out on the £3 million libel case she won against her nemesis, Rebecca Vardy, in a bombshell interview with British Vogue. Rebecca Vardy attempted to sue her fellow WAG for defamation, but a high court judge has ruled that Rooney's Instagram post outing Vardy for leaking stories to the Sun newspaper was true last year. At the time, Vardy said Judge Justice Stain got it wrong with her ruling, adding that, it is not the result that I had expected, nor believe was just. Colleen has now broken her silence on the case that gripped the nation, telling British Vogue that she felt like Rebecca's texts were evil, before calling her fellow wag odd, in the explosive tell-all interview. After keeping tight-lipped about the ordeal for over three years, Colleen, 37, who is married to footballer Wayne Rooney, has now branded Rebecca, 36, odd, and said her evil texts read in court made her sick to her stomach. Colleen has now broken her silence on the case that gripped the nation, image, Vogue. Colleen called Rebecca, odd, in the bombshell interview, image, Getty Images. The WAG also went into further detail about how she came up with the genius plan to expose the person who had been leaking stories. Colleen began to plant fake stories about her personal life to her private Instagram account and only made them visible to Rebecca's account. Colleen then claimed Rebecca was the one giving stories about her private life to the tabloid, before Rebecca sued for defamation and ultimately lost the libel case. I feel like a lot of people still don't understand what happened, from beginning to end. But what I said in that post, I still stick by today, Colleen told British Vogue. I felt like she was in the same world as me. She was in the public eye. I thought she would be protective over that kind of thing. We could associate because our husbands had played for England together. But she doesn't live around here. She wasn't a friend. I've never socialized with her. Sharing an insight into how difficult the libel case was for herself and her family, Colleen revealed that she felt uneasy seeing Rebecca in the courtroom. The WAG said the whole experience was painful and very difficult to sit on the same bench as Rebecca.